Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we are talking about Parkinsonism, epilepsy, and Alzheimer's disease. Three big diseases we've all probably heard about, but never considered coding. So let's talk about that. First, let's start with Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a chronic progressive disorder of the central nervous system characterized by a fine, slowly spreading, involuntary tremor. Okay? It can be postural instability, you could fall, muscle weakness, and rigidity. Parkinson's disease is assigned to code G20 and it includes primary Parkinsonism. So if we have a primary Parkinsonism, evidently we have a secondary Parkinsonism. Secondary Parkinsonism may also affect, it affects the nervous system, but it's often an adverse effect of therapeutic use of medication. So secondary Parkinsonism is caused by the use of medication that a patient could be taking to treat another disease process therefore leading the patient to end up having Parkinsonism. Well, in a case like that, we have to make our code say just that. Secondary Parkinsonism is assigned to category G21, and you assign that code first, and then you go to your table of drugs and chemicals to identify what drug the patient was on that led to secondary Parkinsonism. So you use that as an additional code, whatever code that is, and you know with the um, table of drugs and diseases, it leads us to a T code. So on, when you look up your medication on the table of drugs and chemicals, and you identify it, you identify it as an adverse effect because it was medication that the patient was taking that was prescribed for them to take, but as a result of taking them, the medication, it led the patient to end up having secondary Parkinsonism. So we have to identify that, make our codes do the talking for us. We identify secondary Parkinsonism first with a code from category G21 and then use an additional code from that table of drugs and chemicals, which is a T code. I'll show you that very shortly. Parkinson's disease is sometimes caused by syphilis. And if that's the case, then it's coded at A52.19 other symptomatic neural syphilis. Okay? That's Parkinsonism, primary, secondary, and when it's caused by some other type of um, disease process. Let's talk Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a process of progressive atrophy involving de degeneration of nerve cells. Now this degeneration leads to mental changes that range from subtle intellectual impairment to dementia with loss of cognitive function and failure of memory. Alzheimer's disease is coded to category G30 and it's further subdivided to specify early onset, which is G30.0, late onset G30.1, and other G30.8, and unspecified G30.9. When associated with dementia, when Alzheimer's is associated with dementia, then you code F02.8, dementia and conditions classified elsewhere as an additional diagnosis code. And then epilepsy. Epilepsy is a paroxysmal disorder of cerebral function and it's by recurrent seizures. So when you hear seizures, you think of epilepsy, but don't automatically assign epilepsy. Coders must not assume that a diagnostic statement describing convulsions or seizures should be coded to epilepsy. Because these conditions also occur with a number of other diseases, such as a brain tumor. When a patient has a brain tumor, they tend to have seizures, uh, cerebrovascular accidents, strokes. Stroke patients tend to have seizures. Alcoholism. Patients get so drunk or intoxicated, they tend to go into convulsions. They tend to have seizures. Your electrolyte imbalance. When you get dehydrated, you could have a seizure. And then febrile, febrile convulsions or conditions. 
Think about newborn babies or even babies in general. When their fever gets so high, they start to have seizures. Okay? So just because a patient has seizures does not mean that they are epileptic. You hear the term grand mal seizures. I always thought grand mal seizures, that patient has epilepsy. But that's not the case. Grand mal seizures can be due to other causes other than epilepsy. So be careful there. Now, because a diagnosis of epilepsy can have serious legal and personal implications for the patient, such as the inability to obtain a driver's license, a code for epilepsy must not be assigned unless your physician clearly identifies the condition as such in the diagnostic statement. So without the physician saying epilepsy, you don't code epilepsy for seizures. When the diagnosis is stated only in terms of convulsions or seizures without any further specificity, then use code R56.9, unspecified convulsions instead of epilepsy. Now when the physician mentions a history of seizures in the, di in the patient's workup, but does not mention seizures in your diagnostic statement for this visit, then no code should be assigned unless clear documentation indicates the criteria for reporting that condition on today's admission. Your physician must agree that a code should be assigned. So if you're reading that history and physical for today's visit, and it says the patient has a history of seizures, but those seizures have nothing to do with what the patient's coming in for today, don't code it. Don't assign it at all. It has no bearing on this admission. Okay? All right, let's look at some examples of how to code Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and epilepsy. Okay? Let's pull out our code books. All right, we're in ICD 10 CM. And our first example we're going to code, let's see, oh, let me give you the examples to code. All right, we have number one, write these down Alzheimer's disease. Number two, dementia with behavioral disturbance due to late onset Alzheimer's. Number three, Parkinson's disease and number four secondary Parkinsonism due to prescribed Thorazine which is a neuroleptic drug and this is the initial encounter all right let's look at them again number one we're gonna code Alzheimer's disease number two dementia with behavioral disturbance due to late onset Alzheimer's disease number three Parkinson's disease and number four secondary Parkinsonism due to prescribed Thorazine neuroleptic drug initial encounter. Okay guys, pause your um, video until you write these four diagnoses down because these are the four we're going to hurry up and, and try to code right now. Alright, let's look at the first one. In our ICD-10 CM code books, first one said Alzheimer's disease. So, I tried to speed this thing up by putting some tabs in my book so it helped me get straight to it without holding you guys up too much. So, first thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to main term disease. Alzheimer's right there. G30.9. Now notice that F point, the F02.80, it's in brackets, and in brackets means only if necessary. Well, in this case, this patient only has Alzheimer's disease. So all we code is the G30.9. Okay, that's number one. Number two, dementia with behavioral disturbance due to late onset Alzheimer's disease. I want to show you, it's going to lead us back to disease main term disease and it's going to be number two and I got them numbered so there's number them take them one off here so it won't mix you up it's going to lead you to main term disease Alzheimer's late onset with behavioral disturbance and it's going to give you 
G30.1 and F02.81 because it's going, you're going to have to go to main term disease what kind of disease does this patient have? They have Alzheimer's and then it's late onset with behavioral disturbances G30.1 but because this patient does have dementia you also code that F02.81 okay number three Parkinson's disease so this, we're under the main term disease, we're going to look up Parkinsonism. And it's right there, disease, Parkinsonism, or Parkinson's, G20. See right there, I got number three on my sticky. Disease, Parkinson. I'm going to show you a second way to find it as well. So those of you guys that went straight to Parkinsonism. And number four was secondary Parkin Parkinsonism. So we are going to go to main term. Parkinsonism. Hope it fills in. There it goes. Okay. Parkinsonism. And it says due to prescribed Thorazine. This is secondary Parkinsonism. So we go down to secondary. Right there. But it's due to, and I told you that the um, Thorazine is a neuroleptic drug. So right there. Parkinsonism, main term. Secondary subterm due to a drug and it's a neuroleptic, so it should be G21.11. And remember, I told you when there's a drug involved, you go to your table of drugs and chemicals and look up that drug. So let's go to our table of drugs and chemicals. And I know I'm at the table of drugs and chemicals because at the top of my book tells me ICD 10 CM table of drugs and chemicals. Okay, still on table drugs and chemicals. I look up that medication, Thorazine. There it is, Thorazine. And Thorazine, I need to come across on that table. Notice your table, you identify poisoning, accidental, unintentional, poisoning, intentional, self harm, poisoning, assault, poisoning, undetermined adverse effect and underdosing. I know that it's an adverse effect when the medication is taken as prescribed and I have a, um, something wrong, something occurs, it's an adverse effect. So when I go on that table of drugs and chemicals, I go across to Thorazine. It gives me T43 3X5. You see that? Straight across from Thorazine, the medication, T43 3X5. All right, so when I go to look that up, T43-3X5, it tells me in brackets, there's a seventh digit. It is an adverse effect of that medication, but there's a seventh. So I know the T43-3X5 and I have a table up here at that category that tells me the appropriate seventh character to be added to each code from category T43, either initial, subsequent encounter, or sequela. And this stated that this was the initial visit or initial encounter. Therefore, it's A. So I should be using T43 3X5A to make my code complete. So the answer to number four is G21.11 and T43-3X5. Okay, guys? That's it. I will see you in the next video. Keep practicing, guys. If you want a, a, at least five more additional codes to practice with in under Alzheimer's, epilepsy, and what do we talk about? Parkinsonism. Email me at CodemasterCoach and request volume 11. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.